Hi, this is Sarah Maywalt with Acuity Laser. One thing I wanted to show you with our, our touch panel display is how to set up limits that will actually show you warnings on the touch panel itself. So right here, I've got a AR700-1 and it's already connected here. So I'm gonna click back here. Then I'm going to go to, well, it, let me just show you this first. If I start it up, you can see that it, it's just reading a, a measurement. Everything is sort of normal, okay? So let's stop that for a second. Go to application settings, okay? Now, what you'll notice up here is you have a tab limits right here. And we'll tap that, okay? So now what you see here is you have a limit for every single individual sensor that's hooked up, okay? So we're on A here, so let me set some, some limits here. So we'll say the upper limit, let's say the upper limit is 20. So this is, in, this is all in millimeters here. And so one inch is 25.4 millimeters. Upper warning, we'll say the upper warning is, why not 15? 15 will be good. So the lower warning, we'll say that's 10. And the lower limit is five. So this is upper and lower of the actual measurement value. Okay, not necessarily in this case, lower is going to be a greater distance from the sensor. So lower in like actual direction. So we'll go back here. Okay, so now we've set, we've set two separate values on the upper and lower end. The, the limit value is sort of like the hard value. And what's gonna happen there is when we reach that limit, it's gonna turn red. But the warning value is useful too. When we reach that, it'll turn yellow. So here, I'll show you what we're looking at here. So 13 is right in the middle, right between the two warnings. Everything is fine, it looks the same as normal. But if I were to remove this, it'll go over 20. So you can see it's turned red. Now, it's a little bit easier to show you. Um, it's a little bit easier to show you on the upper side because I don't have something right here that's, that's uh, between 13 and uh, to put that, I don't have anything here that'll put that between 13 and 25 so easily. But you can see here that if you are above 10, or sorry, below 10, but haven't reached five yet, it turns yellow. If you were to go lower than five, it turns red. And then sort of back down again, you can see that once you reach 10, it turns to black again, as long as it'll stay there. And the same thing happens on the lower side. And I'll use this piece of paper to show that. We're on the upper side, I'm sorry. So you can see there. This is really useful when you have a, a certain, um, certain values that you have to keep and you want your operator to be able to easily see that, well, you've gone out of tolerance. And the nice thing about having two limits on each side, one sort of warning and one hard limit, is that you, as you approach the, as you approach the value you can't have, you can make corrections beforehand. Now this does not just work for one. This also works for uh, two lasers, uh, two sensors m taking a thickness measurement. Now we have a, uh, a video about setting this up for thickness measurement, so I'm not gonna go through that right now, but I'm gonna go back to app settings. So you see here limits um, each individual sensor on the screen, right? Well, let's go back to general here. Now, to set up a thickness measurement, you would use two sensors in combination. So we'll, we'll check A and B mode here, A and B with the sum mode here. And then let's go back to limits. Now you notice that there isn't six entries 
there are five, and the first is the A and B in some mode. And what this allows you to do is have an upper warning, an upper limit, a lower warning, a lower limit for a thickness measurement. And it works the same way. Um, you have, uh, a, and it works the same way. I, that's, that's all I can say. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Monday morning when I'm recording this, so I'm a little, a little still, still a little bit, uh, decaffeinated. Um, so you can also, if you're using plain mode, you can also check that. And you can see here, now I have a, a thickness measurement and a plain mode measurement. And if you're keeping count, there still could be a individual laser C that is measuring on its own. You come back here to limits and you can see here, you have the plain mode limits, the thickness measurement limits, and the single sensor limit. So you can set limits for every individual measurement or, or uh, uh, thickness or plane mode all at the same time. And each individual measurement window will give you a separate limit. And that's really useful if you're you know, doing th a thickness measurement across a, uh, uh, three points across a material or something like that, you can actually get a, a limit on every single point individually. Um, and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you this really cool feature that, uh, that we find that, that our customers find really useful and just sort of give you a little tutorial. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and you guys have a good day.